Welcome to Koho Luna, Living Spiritual Greatness. I am your host, May Wengel, and I want to invite you on a journey to get to know and to be reminded of your spiritual greatness and how you can live it consciously so that you can create the life you desire. We are all spiritual beings here on earth to have a human experience, and when we focus on this, we are able to create paradise on earth. Come join me in this movement to make this world a better place by letting go of our fears, old patterns, attachments, and resistance. If you want to help shape this podcast, or if you just like my work and want to support it, become a patron of mine. You will have the possibility to ask questions that will be answered in the podcast or receive special coachings in a group or one-on-one setting. You will find the link to my Patreon page in the show notes. But for now, have fun with today's episode. Hello, my beautiful and wonderful beamings out there. How are you today? I hope you're having a great and wonderful day. (laughs) Today, I wanted to talk to you about one of the things that we do sometimes wrong when manifesting. Because um, I think a lot of the times when we talk about manifesting something, we concentrate a lot on how what we want to have right so we concentrate on things and uh, it's basically very much on the material side and we forget that the way to manifest things better is by actually um, feeling what those things would make us feel right that's how we attract those things because it's it's always about the emotion that stands behind something so that's one of the mistakes that i see a lot of the times happening i used to have it the same way that i wanted to manifest something and i would just concentrate on the sentence or on something that i wanted and it would i i would forget that there has to be an emotion behind it that what would that make me feel like That's one thing. The other thing is that when we manifest, it's about trusting. So it's we you need to be able to trust that if you want something that it's going to be there. It's just going to be there. Because as as soon as we start doubting it, as soon as we get into doubting something, that's when we can't manifest it. That's why, like, for example, right now in this situation, it's a little bit hard to stay focused on where we want to go if we keep on listening to all the bad things that's happening, all the negative uh, uh, news that are going on there, maybe even some of the uh, um, theories that are happening out there. So our focus, you know, attention follows your focus. So if you focus on, uh, if you focus on manifesting peace, but inside of you, you're doubting the peace and inside of you, you're not living and feeling the peace it's going to be hard for the universe to create that for you because it creates, it it recreates what you're feeling. And the third, and for me, probably the biggest, the biggest block that we have in manifesting things is that we want to manifest something. Maybe we're already there that we start creating the feeling, but we don't act on it. We're still acting in the lack of we're still acting the way we act because we we don't have it yet so we can't act the way you know um so we keep acting in the lack of and by doing so the universe is going like okay on one hand she's telling me she wants this but on the other hand she's not acting like it so i i guess she still wants that other thing that she's asking for she's asking for what she doesn't you know like to still be in the lack of and I know that this part, and that's why I'm, I'm, uh, I wanted to record this episode, because I know that this part is the hardest one, because um, we ask the universe, I want to get there, I want to be there, and I want to have that, but then uh, we do that maybe for half an hour when we're journaling, or an hour, or we meditate on it, and then we're there, we have the feeling, we're all in, and we feel the peace, And then in the next moment, something happens or 
not even happens or we hear something or we, you know, we listen to some news or something like that. And then suddenly we're back in the lack of. And we're acting like it and we're act doing things that show the universe that, you know, like we don't trust that, it, you know, that it's going to bring something. <laughs> um, and I'm trying to think of a good example that I could give you that because a lot of the times we tend to to judge on things through our head you know like with our conscious mind and we want to have it logical but the thing is that the universe is not logical the, the universe follows our emotions so it's and, and and our actions so if i'm acting as if i don't have money for example Oh yeah, that's a that's probably a very good example. Um, I remember, and this is like years ago. I remember my shamanic teacher always telling me, "Just be sure that you're always going to have one dollar more than you need in your purse, always." And that was something that gave me the trust. That's why trust is so important. So find something that will give you the trust. And then in the next moment, it was, okay, if I have the money I have. I love, you know, like one of the things that I love is spreading it. So if I would see someone that does a really good job and is really incredible in what they do, for example, and I'm talking about, for example, waiters, because that's a, that's a very good example. If, if I see a waiter that's really amazing, doing a great job, and you see that they really love what they're doing, and then, and for me, that's like, okay, this person is going to have a big tip for me. And I'm going to do that because it's spreading it. And it's uh, showing abundance and it's showing that, showing affection through money. And um, if I would be living in the lack of, I would not be doing that because, you know, uh, for example, right, I would just give the tip that I'm supposed to give, but not more um, because, you know, I have to watch out for it. And, you know, like, because, you know, I have my other bills and stuff. And that way, my action is going against what I'm trying to manifest. Um, the same thing is like if I'm trying to manifest love in my life and I want to have more love in my life. Um, and this, this is something that I've noticed a lot also through my coachings is that people, for example, want to want to have more connection, more, more connection, more love in their life. And th so they sit down and they manifest and they create and they feel love for themselves. But once somebody comes up and appears in their life, suddenly, suddenly, um, they're going like, "Oh yeah, uh, yeah," but I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm not gonna be opening up to this person too much because um, uh, I want to see first that this is going to go the right way, you know, like, or maybe I don't know if they're gonna be the one. This is going to be the one person that I'm gonna have, you know, experience a lovable connection. And I'm not saying about. Uh, just love partners I'm also talking about friends because some people are really also very doubtful in, in meeting friends and so they don't open up to them while on the other hand they're all they're trying to create it and manifest it and you know and that's the thing if we if we on one hand you know like if you order in a restaurant and tell your 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 um how do you say the person you're uh, the waiter, if you tell the waiter, hey, I want to have French fries with a burger, that's what you're going to get, right? Um, but if you, at the same time, slip him a note, hey, I want to I want to have French fries with a burger, but actually I want to have a salad, and you slip that note, and basically acting against what you ordered is slipping the note to the waiter that you actually want something else. So the waiter's going to go, okay, she ordered this, but she's leaving me a note with this. So what is she going to, you know, like, what does she want? <laughs> and it's the same thing with manifesting. So those are like the three big things that we, or, or that's like the third really big thing that we forget sometimes. And sometimes we just don't notice. Like it took me a while myself also to remember, come on, what am I doing that goes against what I'm trying to create in my life? And that's like a huge huge thing because we do it subconsciously we do it because we're used to doing it that way so that's a huge thing 
So these are like the three things that are sometimes done wrong when we manifest. And it's like I said, the first thing definitely is that we forget to put emotions behind it. And so we just write affirmations and I love affirmations, but if the emotions not behind it, it's going to be harder for the universe to actually create it because like I, like I said, if you write down, I want love in my life, but inside of you, you're sort of like pushing everything that's lovable away or, or maybe don't even love yourself and, and, and keep acting against yourself, then that's what, you know, so put an emotion behind it. The second one, um, wait, now I'm forgetting my, my own three points. So if you definitely put an emotion behind it. Definitely put actions behind it. Act as if you're already there where you want to be. And focus on where you want to go. So these are, yeah, these are the, now I got it, sorry. <laughs> so it's important for you to focus where you want to go. Um, because if you just write things down, but you're not focused on where you want to go, that's not going to help. Putting an emotion behind it, that's going to make it even stronger. And once you have the emotion behind it, put actions behind it really start acting right now as if you already have what you want and try to manifest inside of you. So if it's more ease, try to be more in, in ease with everything you do in your life. If you have emotions that bottle up and don't get spoken out, start speaking them out. Start moving step by step. You don't have to make huge steps, but start doing like little actions day by day that bring you closer to where you want to go, to what you want to manifest. And that way you turn everything around. That way you, you bypass being in the lack of things and you get into this energy on a full level, like your whole body gets into that. And that's, yeah, now I got it. This is what, this is what's so important for me to, to give you because this, this is one of the things that I've noticed so much that we always counteract ourselves so many times just by our actions with, and so we don't act on what we want to create. And I hope, I hope this helps you to see also certain things where you are not acting accordingly to what you want to create in your life. And start there. Start finding those little things where you don't act like it. And you're going to see huge changes come up very fast. If you want to have support in doing this, in like really starting to create wonderful things in your life because you say, hey, May, really, this is so amazing what you're telling me, but hey, I'm still struggling to actually do it in my life, like how to fit it in there. Send me a PM, send me a message. Let's talk about it. I'd love to give you a coaching on this. I love coaching people, on, especially on these topics, because um, I know that I can help you support you because I've been where you are, you where you are. And I know how to make those little changes within your own system to create this. And so if you if you want to come on over, I'd love to talk to you and to see if we can create a coaching together. No, not create if we can. How I can serve you best with one of my coachings. Yeah, so for this, have a great and wonderful week. And yeah, just uh, keep transforming as wonderfully as you have. And just be who you want to be right now in this moment. Mwah.